This is something I've not mentioned at all over the last year that I've known about it. Um, I have talked at length about going to Australia at some point in my life. I have talked at length about um, having friends that are Chinese, that are Asian, that are uh, Australian. And um, I mentioned that before I worked on 8chan in the Philippines, I lived in Australia for an Australian company. When I lived in Australia and worked for an Australian company, I uh, was friends with someone named Vincent Jin. He is my buddy. He is my buddy of at least 10 years now and he uh had a proper business in australia and china uh which at some point we decided uh he decided that he was going to try and um do some some networking stuff some hosting stuff because in the information technology business there are a lot of people who need to be put online who don't have access to the kind of tailored solutions uh, that a lot of small businesses would like. So we thought, he thought that he would take his business, make it into a tech company, uh, get IP addresses, and then over time, um, I perhaps would be able to take some of that and help people, small businesses in the area get online uh, in Australia, New Zealand, and Asia Pacific. That did not happen uh, because in part of COVID, it, it just never materialized. And the only use that those IPs ever got were through 1776 Solutions, um, which was going to be how I sort of uh, worked with his company through my company. Um, as 1776 Solutions, I uh, used my IPs that I had, or his IPs that I had access to, um, for the Kiwi Farms. And in hosting the Kiwi Farms, uh, users of the Kiwi Farms from places unknown all across the world, perhaps, uh, archived tweets of Liz Fong Jones, which indicated that Liz Fong Jones uh, was credibly accused of rape in the, the country of Switzerland. So as you can see, this is an international jurisdiction, mostly focusing on the Kiwi Farms. Uh, Liz Fong Jones, in an effort to continue to censor the Kiwi Farms, sued uh, Flow Chemical Pty Ltd, which is the limited liability company that uh, Benny owns, uh, and his person, Vincent himself, and accused him of facilitating defamation because Vincent's company, Flow Chemical, leased IPs to 1776 Solutions in the United States, which used those IPs with Local LLC to host the Kiwi Farms where users from elsewhere accused him of rape. And Liz Fong Jones alleged that that added up to $400,000 of Australian dollars of damage. Vinny, um, having had some experience in small claims court, apparently, uh, believed that based on his experience in small claims court, that if a uh, accusation in Australian civil court is complete and total bullshit, the judge will look at the, the, the charges uh, or the allegations made and say, these are complete and total bullshit. Obviously, this person cannot be held liable for what his company's uh, customers, 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 customers said about somebody. Uh, this will be dismissed. What Denny did not know is that small claims court and complex civil litigation are completely different ballparks. He refused to get a lawyer for the entire, or a barrister, as they're called in Australia, as I found out, uh, and allowed it to become a default judgment. So now he is on the hook for half a million dollars in Australian dollars because um, the his company's IP addresses were used by an American company given to, to provide hosting for an American company of which the service user accused him of rape because he said that he was accused of rape by somebody else. Uh, that is the, the totality of the allegation. Um, so now this puts me in a difficult position because I think that the original goal of Liz Fong Jones was to sue the company and then the company would fold and he would claim the assets and the assets of flow chemical are literally nothing except that apnic has given him the ip addresses so i think his assumption was that he would get the company or the assets of the company in some kind of deal 
and then he would have the Kiwi Farms IP addresses and be like, ho ho, look at what I have done. I have managed to share the Kiwi Farm IP addresses. Oh, very, very glorious uh, Chinese tranny victory over the Kiwi Farms. The issue is, is that those IPs are not important to me because I got them for free, basically. They're not mine. And um, aside from like a small APNIC membership fee that I pay because I'm the only one using them, uh, they mean nothing. And I can't use them because every time I connect those IPs to an ISP, um, a certain deranged tranny, fatherless tranny, contacts every ISP upstream and threatens them and calls their wives in the mer early morning for girl talks, um, resulting in a, a the connection or the broadcast being blocked and or black holed. So I've not been able to use them for basically a full year. Um, so the loss to me means nothing. I'm not on the hook for anything. The problem is, is that Vinny is, and I like Vinny, and I liked Vinny for a very long time. So I, I'm in this awkward position where I'm already dealing with an incredible amount of bullshit. And then Liz Phone Jones decides to pay out of pocket using the amounts, immense wealth that is generated by being a troon in tech to try and heave more complications wherever possible, uh, anywhere in the world as possible. And I don't really know what to do about it. Because obviously I'm not in a position where I can just pay out of pocket for some complex international litigation against Liz Fong Jones. Um, but on the other hand, I am not about to sit back and let somebody completely and totally innocent and uninvolved get fucked over. Uh, so, I'm going to have to think about it. Um... Because I really don't know what to do. I guess I could do, like, the bonds and stuff once uh, it's figured out what can be done. But, like, how much could I possibly expect people to pay for somebody when the outcome doesn't matter? It Like, it doesn't matter to the Kiwi Farms at all. The Kiwi Farms isn't involved. None of my companies are involved. And I can't use those IPs because Liz Fong Jones... Uh, is obsessively watching every single change that they that they get to their their BGP table, and they contact those hosts directly. And because I'm not a big company and I don't have a lot of clout, I can't convince ISPs not to drop me. So, yeah, I could. I guess it depends. I'll have to see what happens because right now um, he says, "Oh, I guess I'm going to get a lawyer." Then, like, okay, yeah, obviously you're going to have to get a barrister uh, to defend yourself so that. You're not on the hook for this. And just to be clear, let me let me put this into a more complex or a more concrete term. Imagine you own a real estate company. You have a five over one in some city. Uh, you manage your apartments under one company, but you lease out the commercial space on the on the ground floor next to the sidewalk to another company. That other company leases out one of the buildings, one of the compartments to a third company that makes it a coffee shop. And inside of that coffee shop, someone says that Liz Fong Jones was credibly accused of sexual assault. And Liz Fong Jones decides to sue you and your company that owns the building for defamation. And then you win. <laughs> and then he wins and gets half a million dollars in default judgments against you because the company that leased out to another company had somebody inside of it that said something that is true because Liz Fong Jones was credibly accused of sexual assault. And I know this because Liz Fong Jones went on Twitter and said that he was credibly accused of sexual assault and had to defend himself against those credible accusations. Um, and therefore, you're on the hook for it. That is the... Uh, uh, the absolute absurdity. If you live in Australia, you should be terrified because apparently your court system is, is ran by deranged fucking lunatics who have absolutely no fucking idea what they're doing. And anything flies as long as you have a, a barrister to pay for it. Uh, it is, it's, it's bizarre how like in the legal system, the way that it's arranged, everyone is just like one deranged retard filing nonsense in the court 
away from bankruptcy? Like, how do you how do you actually deal with people like this who are well funded because of their tech connections and are like deranged, mentally unwell, uh, credibly accused of sexual assault and willing to do literally anything to hide the fact that they were credibly accused of sexual assault? Um, like there is no there is no answer for it, you know. So there you go. Uh, that is the that's that's what happened with Vinny. Um, obviously, I'm going to figure out and the infinite, <laughs> the infinite increasing burden that I have to figure out everything forever. I like literally, I'm gonna have to figure out how to un undo court precedent set by uh, Scordus, um, and his handling of the Greer case. I'm gonna have to figure out how to undo, um, the totally unprecedented deplatforming at the internet backbone level of the Kiwi farms. And now I'm gonna have to figure out how to undo precedent set in the Australian courts that your customers, customer, customers, 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 true speech is defamation that you're personally liable for. I'm gonna have to do a lot of stuff basically by myself. Um, <laughs> I'm very thankful, I guess, that I get the funding that I do just from, you know, super chats and shit. Cause like the EFF won't touch us. Nobody will touch us. Like, it doesn't matter. A, a spiteful part of me. I don't know if I said this last stream, a spiteful part of me really just wants to fuck everything up. Uh, I really kind of want to just crash everything. I want to keep setting such terrible precedent that eventually everyone is just a slave of Facebook. And while you're all mining in the asbestos mines, uh, next to the EFF guys who decided, nah, actually, we're not going to do anything and you can go fuck yourself. When you're all slaves to the same three companies working in the, the Facebook asbestos mines, I hope that you give these people shit for their total inaction. <laughs> Shoot the moon. Juno was mad. He knew he'd been had, so he shot at the moon with a gun. Or the sun with a gun, not the moon. Um... But yeah, that's obviously not an option. Unfortunately, I can't be as petty as I want to, because it would be very fun. It would be very, very fun to deliberately. I, I could, I mean, I could do it. I could represent myself pro se and be like, yeah, Anna, I didn't do it. And here's why. And then just list out like using all the, the vague legal knowledge that I have to make some of the worst arguments ever to the point where the Supreme Court is like, actually, you know what? The copyright clause of the Constitution overrides the First Amendment completely and totally. If it's copyrighted, you can't even look at it without paying dividends to the to the person who owns it. Fuck you. Like, and then the EFF is gonna have to like spend eighty million dollars to try and overturn my cancer on the entire world. <laughs> Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.